everybody i hope that you all had a wonderful christmas please excuse the hair the lighting the baggy jumper the not very much makeup um i've been out all day i'm i've just shoved this on to film this video and i'm going to do a workout with my friend later hence the fact i was gonna wear a hat but then i was like you guys won't mind the top knot is the one so I am back with another unboxing video. Now, I didn't, it's not my intention to do two back to back. I was actually going to fill it with like what I've got for Christmas and stuff like that. But personal circumstances um, mean that I haven't filmed yet. I've just been having a little chill and taking my time. And so this is something that obviously I needed to get done for the PR company. Um, and that's why the, the unboxings are back to back. So I'm really, really sorry about that. That's not normally how I like to do it. Um, there will be other videos to follow this and you probably won't see an unboxing for a very long time. So I have some PR stuff from the social network. Um, they just sent me a selection of kind of like more fitness and health food stuff, especially I feel like this is the time of year for everybody making new goals, um, getting back into fitness. You know, a lot of people do dry January, that kind of thing. And I feel like it's a really good kind of way to showcase some of the brands that they look after um, and some of the kind of healthier snacks that you might come across or might be a good substitute for the things that you really, really fancy. Now, as with all of these things, I'm going to give you a disclaimer here. These are healthier foods. I'm not saying that this should be, you know, this is not like having a piece of fruit or something. Still, still always check the ingredients in the back. Still always check for the sugar content. You know what you're doing. Just don't assume that because it's a healthier version or it's marketed as healthy or better for you that you can still stuff your face with it. Everything in moderation. Um, always bear the ingredients in mind. Anyway, now the boring bit is over. Let's get into it. So the first thing I have to show you is this giant box. They sent me so many. This is ridiculous. So it says discover bolder, healthier and crunchier and I believe this is the fruit crisp by Emily and it says their award-winning range of quality crisps all made from Emily's favorite fruit and veg today so you've got things like um, apple you've got um, fig banana there's pineapple and these are one of your five a day and 95 calories per pack of these veg crisps and then we've got some more in the back here so these are sweet potato carrot and beetroot and these are 111 calories a serving so obviously check on the back and stuff but i think these are really cool and i like the fact that there's fruit and vegetables so if you're in a bit of a sweeter mood but you still want something like with a bit of a crunch to it you can do this the box is stunning like look at that insane so that's really really cool I will also mention it says that there is no added sugar, it's completely natural, and it's also gluten free. So, if you are a celiac, you have a gluten intolerance, then go for it. The next thing I have to show you is watermelon water, and this says watermelon. I'm going to open it off camera, it's got one of these little zip things. Probably should have done this before, but I will whoa so inside looks like this it says hydrate gyrate and celebrate so that's quite cool and it says hey hannah happy new year from all of us at watermelon hq to enjoy our melons to the max make sure you chill them first hashtag stay fresh so this is really cool i got some stickers it's like a disco ball check that out guys Right, let me read you a little bit of info about these. Um, so tasty, so cool, so fresh. Watermelon is not just another pretty fruit and it certainly ain't no coconut. Packed full of naturally occurring electrolytes, the awesome antioxidant lycopene and the muscle loving amino acids citrulline. Watermelon's here to help you shake, share and celebrate <laughs> the endless summer vibes. There's definitely no faking the goodness of this fruit. Watermelon keeps it 100% real, no concentrate here, just the all natural taste of summer without the bits and pips. Now I'm a huge watermelon fan. I have to say though, watermelon i think starbucks in hong kong airport a few years ago when i used to do australia a lot you guys probably will remember if you've been watching me for a while i had a watermelon juice from there and i wasn't keen even though i love watermelon itself but this is watermelon water so it's 100 percent natural and zero percent concentrate so these are really cool. I've got four of these. It says that you should chill them first. I imagine if you were doing, you know how they do like coconut water and stuff like that after a yoga session, if you, especially if you've been doing like hot yoga, like Bikram or something like that, or um, more of the like flow styles, 
then I would imagine just like a lot of the yoga places stock like coconut water and stuff for afterwards, you could take something like this. And I guess it's a much better thing to drink than like fizzy drinks, if you really fancy something a bit more fruity and a bit more, le well, less boring than water, let's put it that way. In fact, let me try a little bit. So it says to do it cold, so these aren't particularly cold, but I mean, it smells just like watermelon and it is kind of pink. That is really good. That is the one, guys. If I have any codes or anything like that, I will obviously list them both down below as I normally do, would do. But if you like watermelon, I highly recommend. Right, the next couple of bits I have to show you are from a company called Pandora Bell. Um, I think it's an Irish brand. And so I've got this pink lemonade special edition um, lollipop, which is really cool. Can you see it's got like a unicorn on it? So that's really awesome. And then I've got these real fruit jellies with 70% fruit pulp. So um, these are vegetarian and vegan friendly, gluten free, fat free, no added colours, made with natural flavours, no added preservatives and GM free. So much better options than like your normal like Haribo or whatever you would normally be going for. And actually, these are really nice. They kind of remind me of like the Charbonnel Walker chocolate packaging, that sort of soft pink with the gold accents. Really, really nice, especially for gifts. The next few bits I have to show you, I am a regular purchaser of these anyway. These are the Kind Bars, and they come in several different flavours. And so you've got caramel, almond, and sea salt, uh, peanut butter and dark chocolate, and dark chocolate, nuts, and sea salt. So these are dairy-free, high in fibre, gluten-free, 60% nuts, um, no artificial colours, flavours or preservatives and ingredients you can see and pronounce. So these are really, really natural, but I would say they do contain things like dark chocolate and stuff like that. And because of the high nut content, obviously, if you have allergies, don't touch them. Um, but they are also quite kind of calorie dense for a fairly small bar. So really good if you need like a really good kick of like fats and energy. Um, but do be aware, I would say these are more of a treaty bar than a 100% healthy bar just because they do have like chocolate and stuff like that on them but they're really really nice if you're feeling like a bit of a treat but you want a healthier version of I particularly like this car uh, the caramel almond and sea salt one is actually my favorite and that's the one that I would normally buy I think WH Smith stock them because I often pick them up at Waterloo love 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 these already and I know that I will scoff these next thing I have to show you um this is by a company called Ollie's Olives and I have <laughs> eaten a packet of these already actually. This is the one thing that I opened beforehand because I wanted to tell you how good they were. So I've tried the um, basil and garlic green olives and then they do the green, uh, chili and rosemary green olives and then they've got lemon and thyme green olives. Now these come in portion packs that vary between about 85 and 95 calories. So less than 100 calories per pack uh, no stones, no messy oil, and no artificial preservatives. So I think Ocado stock these and a few other places, and this is quite a new brand. But I like the fact that they're in little pouches. I like the fact that it's not kind of like, it's not crisps, it's not like white snacks. They're just like cute little packets of olives. And really nice if you're doing like meze platters or you're taking snacks, even if you have like kids and you want to get them into trying new things because they're pit free. Perfect. Um, so I would be taking these like as a snack to have like between shooting or work so you can just, just sort of like pop it in your mouth in between takes and stuff so these are really really good. In here they've also sent me a really cute pair of little socks and it says Ollie's Olives and it's got a bit of an olive on the front. Next thing I have to show are one of these popped rice clusters. So these are strawberry and goji berry flavours so they're dairy free, vegan and preservative free. Um, high in fiber, low in salt, and you get 83, it's 83 calories per bag. So they look like little, well, they're little popped rice ones. So there's nothing really disgusting in the ingredients. There's popped rice, dried strawberry, strawberries, dried goji berry, strawberry extract. It's got sweetener in it, which is um, some form of syrup. But actually, the ingredients on this are pretty good. Again, I like anything that comes in the small packets because I find that if you've got big packets and you've got to portion them out, you've either got to portion them out and take them in separate tubs for yourself, or you've got to really make sure that you're sticking to the portion sizes. So when these are really kind of like 
dinky and cute like this and you can just take it as is I think that's really nice and if you've got kids that are really into like crunchy things or like to snack I think stuff like this is nice because it's still sweet but it's much better than giving them sweets it says pure bite snacks a great taste award winner before even being on the shelf low sugar high protein gluten free high fiber dairy free vegan low in salt can't say any more than that can you the next thing I have to show you are these Karma Bites. So these are actually popped lotus seeds and they're high in protein and high in iron. So these are the caramel flavour and they're 126 calories per bag and again gluten free and vegan. A lot of these things that I'm showing you are perfect if you are gluten free or vegan. These are often like really animal friendly, anyone with allergies friendly products because a lot of the ingredients are really really natural. And so this is kind of like a replacement for popcorn, according to this. So it says there's a new healthy snack in town. Step aside popcorn. Brand new snack brand Karma Bites is the revolutionary way to snack thanks to its main ingredient, something we guarantee you won't have tried before. Karma Bites are made from popped lotus seeds, which hail from the revered lotus flower. Eaten by generations and generations of families in Eastern cultures. Um, and so Karma, ha Karma Bites have harnessed the nutritional power of these relatively unknown super seeds for us all to enjoy. So you've got four flavours of these, so I've got the caramel ones, they also come in Peri Peri, so if you're a Nando's fan, that'll be the one for you. Um, caramel, wasabi, oh, wasabi's always good, and then Himalayan rock salt. So there's something kind of for everyone, there's something a little bit spicy, they've got something sweet, um, and they've got something sort of plain and a little bit salty. The next thing I have to show you is from Peter's Yard, and these are the crisp breads. So you've got a sourdough crisp bread, um, which is spelt and poppy seed, sourdough crisp bread, charcoal and rye, which are really cool because if you can see they're actually black, like my soul. Um, and then they've got sourdough crisp bread in the original. So these are all really cool. And I know that um, me and my family like to have like wine and cheese nights. And these are really good if you're sort of entertaining or you've got friends over, if you're making like little meze platters and stuff like a little bit of a cheese board the packaging as well can i just say it's absolutely beautiful all the um photography and stuff on the sides and i love the colors of the box so it says these are the natural choice for cheese and it's actually in here it's given me like a cheese pairing wheel and sort of advice on what to pair like which crisp bread to pair with and it's like color coded which is quite cool so their recipes use simple natural ingredients including organic flours, organic fresh milk and our precious sourdough which is allowed to ferment for 16 hours before each batch is made. So, made with love guys, great for cheese lovers. The very last things I have to show you is something that I've never heard of. So these are rosemary waters. So you've got the still version, you've got the sparkling version. I'm so, I'm, I like rosemary but I'm a little bit weirded out as to what like it will taste like in a drink um this one is also the still version so apparently you can get them like bottled like this and you can get them kind of like like this in the cartons and inside here i have got this little cocktail book which i think actually if you're really into your cocktails you put like a sprig of rosemary in there and stuff so you've got the vodka and row slow and row mezcal y romero longevity americano nectarine fizz they've got some like really cool different ones in here and like the recipes on how to do that i'm gonna actually try this i'm a bit nervous um i am a really big fan of matcha lattes and i make my own turmeric lattes as well so this might actually be really nice like herbs and spices as drinks i think are quite good as we all know like cinnamon works all spice works as a latte but this is a water it smells amazing that is so refreshing it's not sweet at all it does taste like you have stewed rosemary in a bunch of water for ages you know like if you flavor vodka not that i'm encouraging you to drink because this is a health video um but you kind of get a hint of whatever you've like popped in it or whatever so this is actually really nice really really refreshing and if you want something that's a little bit more different to water but you don't need you don't really want it to be sweet then this is actually really really nice i'm surprised that i like that because i was a bit like mm. so apparently rosemary has like it's good it's a good healing super herb according to this pamphlet um 
So it's commonly used to actually treat conditions such as arthritis, cataracts and bronchial asthma, which I had no idea. I hope that you've all really enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was a bit jumbled. Um, my lighting and stuff is different than it would normally be. Also, you can probably hear the cars outside because it's boiling in my room because I've got the ring light on, but yeah. Um, I hope that you've really enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. It will not be an unboxing video. Please do check out some of these brands. I'm particularly excited about the... I'm particularly excited about the crisp spreads, weirdly. The olives are a number one hit. I love the kind bars anyway. Um, and actually like the fruit crisps I'm really excited about. And this rosemary water, if you're after something that's not sweet, highly recommend. I'm going to finish this now. Okay, I hope that you've had a wonderful Christmas. Happy New Year to you all. I hope that you have a wonderful 2018. And I will see you in the next one. All of the details, um, any discount codes and stuff I have for you will be listed below as usual. Okay, bye.